Uh, welcome to Kenya Houses Investment Company Limited. Today we'd like to talk about water drilling, uh, water drilling services uh, and how is it conducted. Now water drilling is, uh, what is water drilling? Water drilling is uh, a process of acquiring or extracting water from underground, that is uh, uh, below the surface ground. That is uh, we, you, you, that's water drilling. And you can do drilling using uh, traditional means, that is using jembe by hand um, or harrow. Uh, that is, uh, that is those are the traditional means. There are those people who are still using such traditional means, and uh, they can get water at maybe between 10 feet, 3 feet, 10 feet, 30 feet to 50 feet. Uh, maybe if the place is maybe somehow swampy or the water table is close. But we'd like to talk today about water, uh, water drilling, deep boreholes. Deep boreholes of more than 100 meters. That is uh, more than 300 feet. Deep boreholes of more than uh, even 300 meters. So what is the requirements? How what is the process? How is it conducted? Now, you'll find that in most areas, uh, in most areas, uh, water table is very deep, of which uh, you cannot extract water using the traditional means. So the best requirement, the first requirement in water drilling, you must have an expert called hydrogeologist. Hydrogeolo hydrogeologist is somebody, is a professional person that, that has studied uh, rocks, soil and water formations. It is uh, an area where uh, such an expert uh, knows uh, the water formality, formation of soil, rocks, uh, of any place. So such professional, they use, they use special machines uh, to de detect water from the ground. So you need a hydrologist to do the survey of the land so that you can establish, establish the point. Uh, for water drilling. Once the hydrologist has written a report called hydrological report, then you also need an environmental report. Now, in drilling, it, it, it may depend with the country. Uh, every country has got regulations. For example, in Kenya, you must have an environmental report. So you need to have a hydrologist, hydrologist to come up with a hydrological survey report to establish the water point uh, soil formations and everything about the drainage and all, all about the how the water with that that water will be drilled. Um, in addition to that hydrological report, number two, you need an environmental report. An, an environmental report is a report that uh, explain about the environment, the way you will uh, you will um, you will conserve the environment in terms of uh, mitigations factors and also how the how will preserve the environment so these reports are needed by the government authorities now once hydrological report and the environment report is out it's presented to the government authorities for permits to be issued remember you cannot drill a borehole without the government issuing the permit there uh, there are uh, relevant government authorities in every country that regulate ball or regulate water. So uh, once the government, uh, the government permit has been issued is when the driller will organize, mobilize the machine and start drilling according to the hydrological survey report. So during the drilling, you drill as per the layer, you go layer to the layer of the soil as you go deeper detecting water that you have found there. Now, there are some areas where maybe the report may, may indicate that the driller or drilling should go more than 150 meters, for example. And maybe when you are drilling, you find that you get quality and good water at maybe lower than 150 meters. Maybe you get at 100 meters or 130 meters. So you are advised even to stop there because even the more you drill, maybe also the more the risks are involved. The risks that, that are involved in water drilling is, for example, one, you may get salty water. That's number one. Number two, you may get more minerals like manganese, magnesium, ions, 
that are more, uh, which are not good for human body. So you are, uh, when you are drilling the borehole, you need to be very careful and take care and you take all the professional uh, care when during the drilling. Number three also, you should, you, should, you should also know the type of the soil. For example, in Kenya, we have got areas like Kajiado, we have got areas like uh, Narok, we have got some areas like Machakos County, where a place like, uh, let me say, uh, a place like uh, Isinya, such places like Mlolongo, Rwai, those are places with black cotton. Now, such areas, uh, those, those ones, you go deeper and you use casing. You use steel casing. Still, we have got two types of casing. Casing, what is casing? Casing is covering the borehole, the walls of the borehole, not to prevent the soil to collapse. Casing is a way of uh, covering or preventing the walls of the borehole not to collapse. So that's casing. Now we have got two types of casing. We have got the plastic or PVC casing and we have got the steel casing. So in such areas like black cotton, black cotton soil, you use steel casing. But areas like in Eldoret, where maybe you have drilled less than 100 meters, you can use plastic casing or PVC casing. It's, 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 it is recommended. There are those even areas you drill open borehole. Open borehole is a borehole that has not been cased fully. You only insert the surface casing. Surface casing is where you just install uh, a steel-like or a plastic-like casing up to maybe three meters or five meters or even two meters. And because the soil maybe is more, it is rocky, maybe it's not a must you put the casing. So in drilling costs, there's also the question that, that, that involves what, how much is drilling cost? There, there is no specific amount for drilling. It depends with different factors. The type of the soil, the depth of the borehole, the also the logistics. There are places whereby even the machinery is difficult to reach. There are places whereby the soil is not, uh, is, it, is, it is deplorable. Uh, therefore, there is no specific amount for water drilling. For those who want to drill water, for example, uh, once you have drilled the borehole, you have inserted the casing, now, now the last thing you need to do it is you install the pump for testing. It's called pump testing. Pump testing is a stage whereby once you have drilled the borehole, you have found the, you, you, have, you have extracted water or, or you have discovered water in the borehole, then you need to test pump. You pump. So that pumping is called testing. It means you are test pumping. So test pumping enables you and me to know the amount, the capacity, the discharge of that borehole. Number one. Number two, it also enables us to get extract of water for lab testing. So when you're doing, lab, uh, you're doing test pumping, you are advised to test pump at least 24 hours uh, without stopping so that you, you, you get uh, the discharge of that borehole and how much can it discharge for human consumption. No, so once you have, you have taken the samples of water, you are advised to take them to the laboratory, any government or reputable government laboratory. In the laboratory, they'll test the minerals and all content of that water if it is necessary and it is, it is fitting for human health. So the lab technician will give the recommendation based on the tests. If borehole, if that water is not good for human consumption, there are also the mitigation factors that it can be uh, like river osmosis can be done and other uh, other methods to re, to purify that water. So water drilling is a process. So once the borehole and the test pumping has been done, also the test pumping enables us 
to know the type of the pump that's supposed to be fit there. So we shall fit the pump. This pump mostly are submersible. They are aluminium, look like a submersible pump. They cannot rust uh, and they are meant for submersible. So in this pump, they come with the motor, the pump, the submersible cables, and we also have the splicing kit. A splicing kit is a joint that connects the submersible cable from water to the cable that is outside water. There is a joint or a connection between the two cables. That place, that cable or that joint is called the splicing kit. The splicing kit. The splicing kit. It has got some fluid that make it as a fuse to prevent, uh, uh, to it prevent uh, more current or more el uh, electricity to the to the to the motor. So it regulates the flow of the current. That's placing it. So you need an expert to explain to you this. You also need a, a, a person who is qualified, professional. And we as a company, we as a company. We encourage people to come to us. We encourage people uh, to visit our offices and negotiate. We have got some flexible payment. We can also finance the borehole for those people who cannot afford the borehole drilling. We can also finance the boreholes uh, as you enjoy drinking and selling your water as you pay later. So drilling costs is not fixed. It's not one million. It's not 500,000 Kenya shillings. It's not uh, 200,000 Kenya shillings. That, is mis the, that one will be a misadvice. But the costing, it will depend with the, 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 the location of the borehole, the nature of the soil, the depth of the recommended uh, hydrical survey, and also other factors, uh, including the pump. Now, borehole goes with the pump. You cannot to drill a borehole without a pump. So you must also include the pump installation. Now, uh, once you have built the pump, you have, inserted, you have also installed the pump. You also need the tank. And this tank must be at least high raised, maybe on a tower at a certain height, so that water with the gravity can flow to any area within your compound. So we encourage people to come to us for water drilling. We encourage people those who are abroad, outside, uh, those who are out, out, of, out, of, out of country, those who are out of, the, out of country, Kenya, we welcome you to our company. We have professionals in different sectors. We have electricians, we have drillers, we have hydrogeologists, we have got environmental experts to explain and clarify some few facts and also the, the trends that are, are involved in water drilling. We as a company, we can also finance the water drilling. So this is because most people have suffered because of lack of water. Look at uh, some areas in Eastern Africa. Look at some areas in Kenya even. There are some people who are suffering because of water. Water is a necessity. Water is a, a basic thing to human beings. So we welcome all people to look forward and also encourage one another to deal with us. If you have a borehole, you have life. Without water, there's no life. So we encourage all people to have to have water, sufficient water from the boreholes. A borehole is something, is a very good investment where even for those who can sell, who are doing some, some commercial things, some commercial projects, even selling water, you can do it. So we provide sufficient and professional consultation about water drilling. And also we have some packages that every package or even also our costings are very efficient and very affordable you can even pay flexible you can even pay installments as you complete the project so welcome to us in all sorts of drilling we have got there are so many challenges for the drilling we have got so many challenges the challenges number one maybe there are those pretenders there are those non-professional people uh, we have got also a lack of education in terms of drilling. We have got lack of education. We have got uh, uh, um, uh, not effective machines. So we welcome those people. We are sufficient. 
we are a honest company and we are available to, for, to provide you value for your money. We are looking value for your money in terms of water drilling. So welcome and also welcome for financing. Thank you.